Hello everyone, it's Fiona Neeson here from A Journey Within Reiki Healing. I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit of information about my upcoming Reiki Level 1 course. So I'll tell you a little bit about the benefits of Reiki and what it is that you may experience in a course with me and also what type and style of Reiki I teach. So as you all may know, Reiki is a hands-on healing modality. It can benefit you and the person receiving Reiki so much. Uh, so you can help heal yourself just by using this beautiful energy. So Reiki actually means universal energy. So Rei is universal and key is energy. You may have heard the word chi as well, used for energy. So it's not actually our energy that we're using. You may have heard that a lot of healers can get burnt out or exhausting or exhausted, but it's not from the Reiki energy. It's because they're giving too much of themselves. So I'm going to teach you how you can give and receive Reiki and continue to feel those benefits. Now, Reiki is so easy to learn. You can do it in just two days. And after day one, you're already going to feel the Reiki start to work. So how is it that this can happen so easily? So it's through an attunement process. So we sit around and we begin to meditate and I will come and attune you all to the Reiki energy. So I will start to use um, this, what it is that I've learned as a Reiki master, as a teacher, and open up your crown chakra to receive the Reiki energy and bring it into alignment so it's ready to pick up those frequencies. So basically straight after lunch, you're already going to start to feel the Reiki energy. Now, there are lots of different styles of courses out there. You may have heard some of them are online. And I usually believe if it's too good to be true, well, maybe it's best not to go there. So with the attunement process, you actually need to be in the presence of a Reiki master and then give you the attunement. So it's not just something that you can learn online. Now, the hands-on healing part is only one part of the entire Reiki system. So another one are the meditations. So I'm going to teach you guys some foundational meditations. Uh, when Yuisi, the founder who first taught Reiki, he actually taught the meditations before anyone got to the healing parts, the hands-on healing part. So... As a sensitive person, you may be watching this and, and you may be sensitive to emotions or energies. Uh, you might find yourself feeling really stressed out with the people or who you work with. You may feel yourself getting really drained by your friends who continually, they might suck your energy or just when you step outside, uh, being in the world might just be a little bit too much sometimes. So being energetically sensitive can be a beautiful gift, but it can also be very difficult to navigate throughout the world. So what it is, we're going to set these foundational meditations to really help you deal and work through that. So the first one that we're going to do is working with the Hara. Now, a Hara is an energetic system um, found about two centimetres below our belly button. So we're really going to use this meditation to help ground us and to help keep us calm and patient and still. So it's like, imagine a tree, a beautiful tall tree, um, and using your higher chakras might be really vibrant and really fun, but if they don't, if the tree doesn't have a good root system, if it doesn't have a strong base, it's just going to topple over. When you think about a palm tree uh, after a cyclone up in far north Queensland, they're usually what's uh, standing uh, there after the cyclone because they're able to be flexible and move with the breeze, but they also have a really strong root system which helps keep them grounded and stops them from falling over. So we're going to work with you guys to really help you ground yourself. Uh, so that'll be through the Hara meditation. We're also gonna do a clearing the energy channels. 
So quite often when we think about what it is we need to do for our bodies, we know that we need to nourish ourselves with beautiful foods that we eat, with drinking fresh water, with getting enough sunshine, uh, with stepping outside. But sometimes our energy bodies are completely overlooked and the last thing that we might even think about. So we're going to help you clear these beautiful energy channels. You've probably all heard of our seven main chakra system so we're going to work through these different chakras just to clear them and to help you unblock any old stagnant energy that might be stopping you from really just opening up to your full potential and vibrancy. So we've got the healing, we've got the meditations, we've got the attunements. And one other thing that we're going to be working with, which is part of the traditional UEC system, are the Reiki precepts. So there are a set of rules or a set of standards that we have to live by. Um, so for example, the first one is for today only, I will not anger. And the second one is I will not worry. So both anger and worry, they take so much energy away from us. It's amazing how much we can become drained when we worry or we stress about things or we get angry as well. So we're going to really delve into the Reiki precepts. We're going to work through those and we're going to meditate on that to really help with just releasing the negative charge that we have within us. Um, yeah. So I use the traditional style of Reiki. There's a lot of different courses out there and it can get quite confusing. The Western style of meditation usually focuses on the healing part, which is really wonderful and you will get a lot of benefits. But after a while, you may feel that your healing plateaus because you don't have the full Reiki system. So I work off the diamond system or the Reiki pillar system. Uh, which is a traditional style of Japanese Reiki. So if you're learning to go a little bit deeper with your Reiki, you may have done it before, um, but you just want a refresher, or it might be something that's completely new to you. Either way, if you are interested, if you do have any questions, feel free to reach out. Uh, no question is a silly question. Um, there are just so many benefits from doing Reiki. It can help you feel more emotionally balanced, uh, just stabilizes those emotions. So if you tend to kind of have highs and lows, um, it can really stop you from having those lows. Or if you'd like to bring in more joy, more excitement, more energy into your life, uh, more vitality, Reiki can definitely help with that. It's also amazing to be able to help yourself but also help others, which is just such a beautiful gift. Uh, yeah, so I personally just love Reiki. My name is Fiona Neeson. I first studied Reiki about eight years ago. I absolutely love it because it's changed and transformed my life in so many ways on so many levels and it's such an awesome gift and I'm just so grateful that I get to share it with people it's something that I'm very passionate about is helping to heal people uh, helping them to feel a more wellness within their bodies within who they are so I'm really excited to do the courses um, if you are interested um, feel free to reach out and ask any questions and yeah, have the most wonderful day and thank you for listening.